Hello guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome to another Project Cars video. Now before we start, I want to quickly just lay out a quick disclaimer. This video is completely riddled with my own opinion, uh, as much as I can I back it up with fact, but if I am incorrect in places then please let me know in the comments. Well the reason for this video is undoubtedly E3. Um, I saw a lot of Project Cars gameplay footage come back uh, over the last couple of days on various YouTube channels. And really I'm quite, I was quite eager to give it a go for myself. Now the E3 demo showed, I think it was a GT race at Brands Hatch, including the day night cycle. All looks very pretty, all look very smooth, and that was on the PS4. Obviously I'm on PC and I'm using what is still I think an alpha build, it's build 751. So I was really kind of looking forward to getting into it and seeing what has changed since I last, uh, last tried it out. So graphically this game has always been gorgeous it's been the appeal of this game since day one obviously draw them in with pretty looks and then hopefully keep them with the driving um, I did a couple of uh, drives in the rain one of them in the Mitsubishi at Al uh, Alton Park and that was a lot of fun it all looked very good and looked very impressive uh, but I wasn't running the highest settings that were possible in the game this game is still unoptimized it feels um, for PC uh, I, I imagine that's because they're focusing on the, the console market at the moment that's where all the money is I guess um, but it, you know, there were a couple of areas that were really quite uh, ragged around the edges. I mean, for example, any time I crashed personally uh, myself into a wall and hit something in a, in a single player mode when I was on my own. In the race it was fine for some reason, but in the single player I would just crash. The game would just crash and I'd come out of it. And I mean, the, the game crashed six or seven times in the period of me recording about an hour's worth of footage. So that side of it still really needs a lot of work. Oddly enough though, graphically, when I was driving, I drove a little race, uh, which was really hilarious by the way, because the AI was just very broken at this point, I wouldn't race them because they just, they punt you off and each other off, as you'll probably see in the footage. Even with all the bits flying everywhere, um, this is one time when damage actually worked for me, uh, the game was running okay, it was running around 30 frames a second, uh, which was something like this is pretty impressive. My computer is, you know, these are the graphical update at some point in the graphics, graphics department, but it's still okay. And that was alright, I mean that's a lot better than it used to be where it could barely run 25 frames a second on medium settings on their, on its own. So that, that was a good improvement I guess, but that's to be expected as the uh, game is optimised. When I first uh, played Project Cars, must have been late 2012, um, I was initially quite impressed with the sounds of the game. A lot of the cars sounded really cool and really raw and really kind of throaty, which is awesome because I feel a lot of sims kind of miss out on that rawness that you get. Uh, in, in cars or feel very synthesized um, but as time's gone on in this build here um, all the cars kind of just sound like they've all come from the same sample <laughs> um, they there's not much variation between them the sounds are still you know they're still pretty impressive but they've not really moved on at all since the start of the game that's kind of disappointing I guess um, but I guess I'm gonna have to just gonna wait and see uh, for, for later cars and later sounds to come out. But at the moment, I'm really not, you know, they're, they've stayed okay and that's it. Well, I guess now probably the most important bit, for me anyway, as a sim racer is how the physics are in the game. And again, this has been a constant since I've, well, throughout my Project Cars experience is that through development, and it's to be expected, some cars are good and some are awful. And when I say good, I don't mean to the level of, you know, R Factor 2 URD good. I mean kind of Gran Turismo-y, maybe just above Gran Turismo kind of physics in that respect. I mean, I know there's a very big following of Project Cars and they're very, they like to say that the sim is very hardcore, but I just don't feel that. I feel like um, there are times where you can just, you know, drift the car around corners, do whatever you like with it, and not really have that same level of preci uh, precision that you need in another simulator such as iRacing or R Factor or even a set of Corsa. Um, I know that Project Cars themselves are now trying to market the game as a full sim, you know, and there, there are different levels of assist that you can have to tailor your experience, but I really feel that's not the way to go with this. I mean, um, a lot of people were afraid it would end up like Neva Speed Shift and Shift 2 and that's not the case at all like the cars feel like they're on the road and they do handle you know, fairly how you how you would expect them to but the force feedback is pretty poor at best um even with i, I did a couple of tests all the, all the graphical settings turned down so the game actually run at a decent frame rate there was quite considerable input lag and it really 
wasn't to a point where I'd say it would be a full sim. I'd still buy it and I still play it because the driving is pretty fun and I guess that's what matters for a lot of people especially that console market everyone's really into that fun factor and that's why there's a career that's why there's so many game modes that's why you can just you know mash all these cars together in these hilarious races um, but as of now I wouldn't drive it for sim purposes personally I think the project cars is going to work really well as a single player game I don't see it taking off uh, massively in the multiplayer community um, and the experience I've had online has been negative so far and I guess again I know this isn't the full version yada 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 but I'm working with what I've got <laughs> here and it's just not been good I'm really into all that kind of single player stuff all the career all the just playing on your own with AI just having kind of a nice relaxed drive against uh, people that aren't going to moan at you if you make a mistake so I probably will end up buying project cars when it comes out but I'm not super duper checking out every screenshot, every video I can find of it. I'm not hyped for it, as I have been with other Sims and different updates for Sims. So that's my opinion on the matter, guys. Let me know yours in the comments below. Make sure to like the video. Helps me out. Let's me know what you guys are enjoying. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Have a good day.